characters in this scene are Capulet, Lady Capulet, Nurse, and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet are already married at this point, even though their families have everlasting hate for each other. Mercutio has been slain after his death. Romeo takes his anger out on the bull. Of course, Romeo ends up killing him in a sword fight. Juliet is startled by this, but has not lost her hate love for Romeo. Romeo and Juliet wake up in the morning after their honeymoon. They wake up to the sound of birds humming, but unfortunately for them, it is a lark bird, which indicates that it's the morning. This also this also means that Romeo will have to leave or face serious consequences if someone finds him with Juliet. Sadly, this is the final time Romeo and Juliet will ever see each other alive again. Oh, daughter, are you up? Why not? I'm Juliet. No, I'm not well. Evermore weeping for your cousin's death? Yet let me weep for feeling such a loss. We will have vengeance for it. Hear thou not, then weep no more. I'll send one to Mantua with the same madness renegade Doctor shall give him such an unaccustomed strand that he shall soon be civil company. Then I hope thou will be satisfied. Madam, if you find out but a man to bear poison, I would temper it that Romeo should, upon receipt thereof, sleep in quiet. Find thou means, and I'll find such a man, but now I'll tell thee joyful tidings of us. And joy comes well in such a needy time. What are they? I beseech your ladyship. Well, well, thou hast a careful father, child. One thing put thee from thy heaviness, hath sorted out a sudden day of joy, that thou expect not nor look not for. Madam, in happy time, what day is that? May, my child, early next Thursday morn, to the gallant young and noble gentleman, the Count of Paris, the Saint Pe at St. Peter's Church, shall happily make thee a joyful bride. Now, by St. Peter's Church and St. Peter's too, he shall not make thee there a joyful bride. These are news indeed. Here comes your father, tell him so yourself. How now, upon you, girl? What still in tears? How now, wife? Have you delivered to her our decree? Aye, sir, but she will none. She gives you thanks. I would the fool remain to her grief. How? Will she none? Doth she not give us thanks? Is she not proud? Doth she not count her blessed? Unworthy as she is that we have wrought so worthy a gentleman to her bride. Not proud you have, but thankful that you have. Proud can I never be of what I hate, but thankful even for hate, which is meant love. How, 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 how? Shock logic, what is this? Proud, and I thank you, and I thank you not, and yet not proud. Mistress, many and you, thank me, no thanking, nor proud me, no prouds. Me, uh, but settle your fine joints against Thursday next to go with Paris to St. Peter's Church, or I'll drag thee on a hurdler thither. Five, five, what? Are you mad? <laughs> you ordered to play my way to Richard, so. Hang thee, young baggage, disobedient wretch, I tell thee what, get thee to church on a Thursday or never after look me in the face. Sweet, oh my mother, cast me not away, delay this marriage for a month, a week, or if you do not make the bridal bed in that dim monument where tumult lies, talk to me not, for I'll not speak a word, do as thou wilt, for thou I have done with thee. Oh God, oh nurse, how shall this be prevented? Comfort me, counsel me, alas, alas. That heaven should practice stratagems upon so soft a subject as myself. What sayest thou? Hast thou not a word of joy? Some comfort, nurse. Many tears. Romeo is banished, and all the world is nothing. That he dare near come back to challenge you, or if he do, he needs to be by still. Then, since the case stands now as the dog, I think it is best to grant you come. Though he's a lovely gentleman, a, Romeo is a discount compared to him. An eagle, madam, hath not so green, so quick, so fair an eye as Paris has. Speakest thou from my heart? And from my soul too, else issue them up. Well, thou hast come for me marvelous much. Go in, and tell my lady I am gone, having displeased my father to the Lord's cell to make confession of the assault. Mary, I will, and this applies to him. Go, counselor, thou in my bosom henceforth shalt be twain. All to the friars to know his remedy. If all has failed, myself have power to die. 